Hi everyone, welcome to Stampin' Gala. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create this beautiful card, including this watercolor background. I created this card a few days ago and I posted it in a few places on, on Facebook and also on my blog. And I had so many questions and requests for a video, I decided to do one for you tonight. So anyway, to get started, I'm gonna bring in my Stampin' Pierce mat and some scrap paper. I am using the Colorful Season stamp set and the seasonal layers. These are were bundled when they were introduced in the catalog last year. However, once that catalog expires, if they still carry them, they no longer carry them as a bundle. So if you want the bundle, if you see something you like as a bundle, make sure you get it in the catalog that it's introduced in. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna bring in a piece of watercolor paper and I'm using this because of the photopolymer stamp set. Okay, we're gonna ink this up, this leaf image, and we're gonna stamp it right here. We're gonna ink it up again and stamp it here in the bottom. And finally, we're gonna ink it up one more time and we're gonna stamp it right here, okay? You never know what you're gonna get because the Versamark is like, um, it's clear so you don't see it until you have your embossing powder on here. So let me see how, how well we did here. So far so good. And then I always just click this off, okay? I did tend to over stamp it right here, but with the, let me see, with the watercolor background, it will be fine. I'm gonna get that off of there. Okay, so let me bring in the heat tool and we're gonna heat this up. Whatever's on there will be on there if, after you heat it. Now make sure that when you're heating this, you don't overheat because if you do, the, the shininess will turn to a very dull color and it almost defeats the purpose of having it embossed. Okay, so that's enough. I got it all heated. Now we're gonna bring in another piece of scrap paper here and we're gonna begin water and coloring. So what you want to do is you want to have an aqua painter and fill the barrel up with water. And you don't want to use a lot of water, but you do want it to be moist enough. I'm going to close this for just a second and add some ink to the top of this stamp set or ink pad. So I'm going to bring this in and I'm just going to add on some green, old olive. I tend to like a little bit more green on this. I had a class this afternoon and they thought I had too much green on it until it was done. And then they were happy. They thought it looked really pretty. So you see I'm adding some in the different areas. Okay. All right, clean off your brush, and then you wanna go on to pumpkin pie. See, I'm not being really careful. And it's best to go lighter at first, and if you need more color, you can always go back and add it. But you really can't take it off. I remember looking at their faces today and they're thinking, what is she doing? It's so fun to play with. If you um, have an aqua painter at home, you should try it. It's a lot of fun. And also, um, you could try different colors with this. You'd be amazed how the different colors give it a different look. And it, as you know, when the trees are changing colors, 
there's all kinds of shades in there. There's even like rich Razzleberry and Blackberry Bliss. So give it a try. I think you'll like it. These aqua painters come two to a set. You can purchase them from my blog at stampingala.com and I'll have the projects or the products listed as well for you. And then you can actually add some water and kind of just smooth it out some. See how I'm doing that? want to go back and add a little bit more green you can just make sure that you kind of rinse off your brush in between I don't like how this looks over here I want to smooth this out a little bit okay I want a little bit more green Okay, so I think we're done here. Move this out of the way. I am gonna have to do some on the inside, so. But then we're gonna take our background. Look how pretty. That just makes it pop when you add on the, the pumpkin pie background. This is one I did earlier. So you can see every one is different. Okay, so I'm gonna add some snail to the back of this. And this is going to be our, our focal point. And like I said, don't worry about the sizes because I will post them on my blog at stampingala.com. Okay, and this will need a second to dry. You can take your, uh, your heat tool and dry it, but I usually just let it dry on its own. Move this up a little bit. Okay, so next I'm going to bring this in. Okay, so what we have here is our card base, and this is actually just a half a sheet of eight and a half by 11, so it's eight and a half by five and a half, and scored at four and a quarter. I took two pieces of very vanilla, and they're five and a quarter by four, this one is, and then the, the top one I embossed, and I just cut it down a tiny bit, like a eighth of an inch, if that. Okay, I just trimmed it so it'd have a little bit of a border. Okay, we're gonna snail these two together. All right, and then we're gonna pop this up on dimensionals. And that, our focal piece is just drying where we're doing all of this. Okay. I'm going to take this off of here. We're going to place this on the front of the card. All right. All right. So then this will go up on dimensionals as well. I always like to put one in the middle. Believe it or not, we're just about done with this card. Okay, bring back the card. I'm gonna place this right in the middle. Okay, I did take this die right here and I ran two 
foil gold leaves through the Big Shot. And one is gonna go right here in the corner. All right, so we're just gonna slide this in, just like that. The other one, we're gonna cut in half, and we don't need this little stem here. So we're gonna cut this about like this. And I'll just add some snail on the back and push this under right there. And the other portion will go on the bottom. About right there. Okay, so next we're going to take our area for the sentiment. We're going to work on that. And I did use watercolor paper on this as well. We're going to bring back in our stamp and pierce mat and also the Thinking of You stamp. We'll ink this up and we'll stamp this right there. Okay. Bring back in the powder. I dropped it, so I don't know if I have it on the right side. Yep, and I do. Okay. And we'll just heat this up. are lucky enough to own this punch still. This was a celebration item and it was in the catalog for a while. I just push this in here and make a little tab. Okay, if you don't have that, you can use your scissors. And also I'm gonna cut it down on this side, just like that. All right, bring in a piece of our gold foil and snail these two together. Right, so we're going to put this right down at the end, and it's a very, very small clearance. Okay, now if this will fit back in, sometimes it doesn't. Oh good, it does this time. So I'm just going to bring that, cut it off right there, and we're good there. Okay, we're going to add some snail, but we're not going to add it to the card yet. We're going to take our gold twine here, or actually metallic thread, and I'm just going to wrap it around my fingers maybe six times. Okay. Cut it off, and I'm just going to kind of mess it up and put it like that, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is add some dimensionals on here. Just like that. And add this to the front of the card. You can get these off of here. Okay, kind of connect that one. And it's meant to be messy, so don't let it alarm you. Okay, so we'll bring this in, and we'll put this about right here. Okay, isn't that pretty? All right, so now on the inside of the card, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the smaller of the two, bring back in my stamp and pierce mat. I'm gonna stamp a few leaves across the front, across the top, let me show you the sample, how it looks. Oops, wrong one. Right here. Okay. So, we're going to stamp this. Ladies, I hope you visit my blog at stampinggala.com. And if you like what you see, you can go ahead and subscribe to my blog posts. 
and you can also subscribe to my newsletter. There's two places to su subscribe there. I also do live videos every Thursday on Facebook, and that is Stampin' Gala Stampers Group. I'd love to have you join me there. I do videos every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So, and you would need to join that as well. That way you'll catch everything. So this, this is how this is gonna look. We're gonna heat this. And now this time, we're just going to be a little bit more careful on where we place our ink. Let me cover this up. We're going to start again with the green, the old olive. All of these items can be purchased on my blog as well. There's a Shop Now button, and it'll direct you to my Stampin' Up! online store. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please leave me a message and I'll make sure I get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some pumpkin pie. You can see I'm being a little bit more careful this time. Trying to stay in the lines a little bit. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to um, finish up the card with a cute little bow. Bows are kind of my thing. Okay, and then we're going to add some Cajun craze. Go around the edges. Now this paper is just the regular paper, so it doesn't watercolor as well, but it still looks very pretty. Okay, so now I can just go like that and get the excess off. I'm gonna bring in an extra piece of very vanilla that's cut of eight, eighth of an inch larger than this one. Snail these two together or adhere these two together, I should say. A lot of people don't know why we call it snail, but we call it snail because it kind of looks like a snail. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take this and turn it over, put some adhesive back here, and then I'm just going to take my metallic thread again, find the end, and catch it with the, the adhesive, and then we're just gonna wrap a few times and get it in the same area. Okay, that should be good. And then cut this off, oops. Add some additional adhesive. Bring back in the card and put this in. Attach this, but I'm gonna do one more step. Okay, so let me grab some glue dots. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is wrap this, first of all, I'm gonna cut off a piece just about, I don't know, six or eight inches, probably eight. And then I'm gonna take my fingers again and wrap this around a few times, probably, I don't know, maybe 
10 times. Okay. I'm going to take this piece and tie it into a bow. It's kind of difficult to do with one hand, but I think you can do it. There. And tie it again. Okay. So now we'll cut off this excess and kind of like open this up a little bit just to make it look pretty. Let me see the end of this. All right, bring back in the card and add on a glue dot. I'm gonna put the glue dot right here. We're gonna add the bow. And there you have it. There's the card. Let me bring the other one back in. And you can also see this one as well. So as you can see, each one of them are slightly different. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I hope that you will click like on the bottom of the video and check out my blog and get the dimensions and make one for yourself. Thank you for watching and visit uh, me, me again soon. Goodbye.